All right. Are we going? Yeah, we're going slowly. <laughs> no, that's okay. Alright. Portage one. Two hundred and ninety five meters. Canoe Lake. Joe Lake. We're just gonna get our stuff. Walk it. We have to do two trips to each portage, so yep, we're gonna get going. Coming up. Damn. All right, we made it. Now we're gonna go back. You can go. I'll we'll catch up. Yeah, thank God, eh? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. They got a cabin, cabin up in the woods there. Man, this is so pretty. Looks like these Canada geese has taken over this campsite. They're looking at us like, you want to fuck with me? You better not come over here. Look at that guy peeking his head out. <laughs> oh man. That's awesome. Getting his fishing lures on. There's some fishing in this nice, uh, Bay. Hopefully there's some bass in here. 
I'm just sitting in a bush because why not? And yeah, so far so good. Day one, the success. Nice blue skies. So far anyways, knock on wood, we only had one portage to do today, thank God. Tomorrow's the big day though, 2.3 kilometers. Yep. Just thought I'd show you guys this pretty little place. Because I love it. So, Mrs. I don't get directions wrong and I never get lost and, you know, I uh, took us down the wrong path on the map, delayed us probably by two hours, maybe an hour, and by probably, what, two kilometers, something, I don't even know. But anyways, I messed up bad, so we're just taking a break, I'm going to smoke, he's going to fish. And then we're going to get back on the right track and hopefully we don't do this again because I'd like to get to our campsite sooner than later. So, yeah, wish us luck. Oh man, today could not get any better. We are back on track and the wind is pushing us in our favor. We're just slowly cruising down the uh, river here. And his first lily pad. He caught a he caught a little fish and a couple fish back there. But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna troll since the river is taking us along nice and easy. So yeah, happy fishing. Look at the beautiful majestic creature. This is when you need the 4K video. Well, we went through Joe Lake. Uh, we went, uh, obviously we did our portage already. We had that wrong turn and went through Joe Lake. And now we're on Loxtabon or I don't know, some river. Um, and then we're going to go to Little Doe and then hopefully we'll be at our campsite soon. Um, we just found out that our uh, filter isn't working properly, like our water filter, which is like crucial to our survival for the seven days so that's always great but uh, it still works but the tube thingy that attaches to this part that goes into the water and that way I can just filter it into the bottle the suction doesn't work properly so now I have to like stick this end like into the water and then do it in a really weird way so that's not going to be good but oh well I guess it could be worse. Our trip might be over, but we'll see. All right. It's our first dam. I think we can go through it though. I'm trying to video and help paddle at the same time is not exactly uh I forgot my GoPro strap that goes on my head. And I'm kinda using my phone right now. Anyways, because we don't want to kill the GoPro battery. Oh yeah. Ooh, we're gonna bottom. Where are we gonna bottom? Ooh. 
Oh, and we bought him. <laughs> okay, let's go. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah. I guess this would be the place to see a moose if we want to see a moose. Thompson. Well, we're almost there. One more lake to go through. Thompson, I can see here's the mouth. Ah, my boyfriend was standing up paddling like one of those Paris French chauffeurs. It was nice. But um, yeah, so there's where we came from. Here's where we're going. And the scenery is just fantastic as always. Absolutely. Love Algonquin Park, love nature, love my babe. So we made it to Bartlett Lake. This is where we're camping tonight. You see the lake is just so calm and so beautiful. There was one campsite that we wanted to stay back there that's close to the entrance, but it's so overgrown. There's no way that we can stay there. The bugs would be terrible. So we're going to go check out uh, this campsite over here. And then there's also a campsite over there on that peak as well. I think that peak might be better, but we're going to check them out and pick a spot and then get set up. So, yeah, hopefully this one's good. There's nobody on this lake, so it's just us, which is great. Um, but because nobody comes to this lake, I don't think they maintain these camping spots too well. So we'll find out. Spot right there. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, it looks to clear up. All right. Let's check it out. First, look at our home. We checked out the one over there. It looks really good, but this one looks even better from the outside, anyways. So. Let's see what we got. We're right on the peak on this one, so you can see, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that, it even has a little table. And a nice fireplace. Oh, a freaking Inuk shook. Look, babe. Oh, that is so awesome. Look at our freaking view. Look at this. Yep, this is definitely home for the night. Canoe over there. Pardon? Not very lot of wood. No, but there's a lot of wood back there. We can always get some. And then every campsite in Algonquin Park usually has a toilet. So, oh yeah, here's the trail. And it's nice because they kind of put it away from the camp as well. So. Another, uh, another, another hole for a tent. And here's the pooper. It's pretty ghetto. Yeah. As per usual, when you get back here, the toilets get shittier. Everything gets shittier, but pun intended. Yep. But better than digging yourself a hole and then having to poop in it and bury it right so another trail going that way yeah this is awesome i am definitely definitely excited to pitch the tent raise the tarp and just relax because We've been on the go since about, well, on the go since about 6 o'clock this morning, but we started portaging, canoeing probably around 11, and it is now like 5 o'clock, supper time. We haven't eaten much, but uh, yeah, so this is another view. Amazing. Well, 
We ate supper. We had some nice potatoes and steak and broccoli and bread and butter. Things you wouldn't expect to have on a portage, but that's why we brought the cooler so we can have this kind of stuff. Don was a gentleman. He cooked dinner. He even did the dishes. But uh, he's the dish man usually. Love him. Um, I was going to show you guys dinner, but it's not important. So, just taking a walk down this trail that I found over here. Here's our tent. <laughs> and I just throw the phone because why not? curious to see what's over here it's probably just leading to the other um to the other uh, tent spot it's over here oh somebody was using the bathroom over here there's a toilet over there i don't know why they would feel the need to do that but that's okay Thought I'd bring you guys on an adventure with me. Nope, it's a dead end. Yeah, so Dawn just wants to go fishing. And I just want to go on an adventure. Oh, wow, this tent spot's really flat. There's two tent spots at this camp. And here's the second one. So even as far back as we are, the tent sites are still really awesome. You can see, every tent site has their own little trail going to it. And that's the way, that's the bathroom. And yeah. Oh no, I got him. See what it is. Is it gonna get up? Oh, there it goes. You idiot. Uh, that's yeah, the beaver though. Okay, so we got a beaver over there that we keep spotting. And I got a dragonfly on my bottle that we've saved twice because, you know, my hippie ass just can't let him die. Seeing him struggling in the lake. It's pretty, isn't he? Plus they eat mosquitoes and everything else that I don't want to around, so yeah. There's the beaver. I'm being quiet so we don't spook him. Because we want to see him. Oh, there he goes. He must have a hole there. That's mud, isn't it? Yep. I wonder if he's going to pop back up or... Yeah, that's probably... He's, he's got... on the other side. They travel along the surface and you can see the water ripples over there. Yep. There he goes. Video's blurry zooming in that much, but just so you can see the ripples. And there's the beaver. Oh. He's got a little tunnel. The there he goes. Oh, what a sweetheart. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning. It's 7.30, quarter to 8 in the morning. It's uh, day two of our portage trip. He's still kind of sleeping. Um, I'm going to get up early. I'm going to go to the lake. And I'm going to try to get our water filter working. Because if we can't get it working, then we're going to have to go back to the portage store today and I really don't want to have to turn around because that is very upsetting we had to turn around last portage and yeah that means we're just not going to be able to go as far as we wanted and well yeah it just sucks so I'm going to spend about an hour trying to see if I can mess with that thing so I because I figure if I can just get it working even if it uh takes like an hour to get water I'm fine with that if it means we can keep going but I tried for at least 40 minutes last night and I could not get a single drop so wish me luck yeah what a beautiful morning it is though isn't it if you guys come to a golf park this is Bartlett Lake there's like nobody here there's one person like across the way like over there but they came really late you pretty much have the whole place to yourself it's not the busiest uh place to come because it's like a lake off of a big lake so that's why we chose it but i'm glad we did because yeah anyway oh my god guys i got it working Go with the water. I got the water. So, maybe I'll look. This is what the uh, filtered water looks like on a uh, port card trip. Um, yeah, it only took me about 20 minutes to get it to work. Anyway, I'll continue on now. I'm just going to share with you. Well, breakfast was served. We had egg, mushrooms, and toast. Don's got his lures all on his fish. On on his fish. Oh my god. He's got his lures right on his fishing rods. We got our stuff packed up there. It's the only thing about portaging is you have to set up camp every night and then take it down in the morning. But oh well, we like it that way, so doesn't matter. So we picked up all the garbage. We're packing up. I'm gonna be packing my like bag after this and putting it in the canoe. We got the fire being put out. We burned all our garbage. Um, I know that sounds bad, but the way I see it, plastic being burned in the fire pit is better than plastic in the ocean. So, oh well. So we're gonna get going, and then I'll continue later. Okay, bye. Bye Bartlett Lake. Hello, 2.3 kilometer portage. We are on. Oh my God, guys. I know you can't see it, but there's a moose straight up ahead. We're rushing before it leaves so we can see it and get a picture. Hopefully we catch it. Wish us luck. Yep, just give me a moment. Yeah, just give me a moment. I'm just taking a better video. We're just chilling up on this log here. As you can see, got a canoe propped up. Don's got the binoculars. We're just gonna chill here for a bit and uh, watch this moose. 
And I said it was a girl earlier, but it's not a girl. It has to be a boy because it's got that... Uh, only boys have that thing dangling from their throats, right? But he's got no antlers, but he is small, so... Could be just a young buck. Look at him, he's so freaking gorgeous. Alright, I'm going to put this away and check out the binoculars and enjoy. Well, we made it. Whew. So the moose got the canoe up on the thing. Now we have oh, 2.3 kilometer portage. Yep. Wish us luck. <laughs> Whew, just started and we're already, well I'm already, puffing and puffing. <sighs> Everyone said this was flat, the Portage store, but the couple we just seen back there said that it was actually pretty hilly, so I guess we'll find out. It's not easy to carry a pack and record and everything, so I'm up. Woo!
Oh yeah. Just, you know, whoo, thought we were there. Ah, oh, shit. All right, I keep going. All right, the boyfriend said he can see the end. So, oh, I can see the end. Oh, this has to be one of the hardest things I have ever done in my life. Not the, not the portaging as a whole, but this 2.3 kilometer portage. Whew, brutal. Absolutely freaking brutal. Ah. 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 Look at that. Oh, look at this. They built stairs for us. That's nice. That's nice. Ah. Ah. Sorry, it's the camera's so shaky. I'm tired. Ah. Holy hell, this is quite the staircase, isn't it? Shit. Oh, we made it. Beautiful little ink lake. We walked the length of that Thompson Lake. We came. Oh, there. Off to Macintosh. Here we come. It was beautiful, but not enough wood. We're gonna go check out that one across the lake. Well, we found our home for the night. Uh, took us a bit. The campsite on the island was a lot nicer than this campsite. And then we ended up at another campsite, which was just not good at all. So then this is the one we settled with because it's actually the closest to our next portage hole. And it's uh, it has a lot of wood at least, but you know, whatever. So this is it. So we got our stuff. We got a fire going. Don's just... Uh, I don't know what he's doing right now, but uh, I opened up my uh, can of tuna with no can opener. So look at that, I'm pretty skilled, aren't I? But uh, yeah, so this is our campsite. Let me just flip it around. And yeah, I couldn't find the shitter at first, but it's up there in some overgrown trail. Not a very good part, like point to uh, bring our canoe in, so we had to bring it all the way up, but yeah so this is our view oh, there's Don where is he? there he is this is our view not bad anyways I'm gonna make some salad we're making uh, potatoes broccoli salad and steak tonight, day two. I got uh, tuna. I'm gonna put that in the cooler tomorrow. We're gonna have that for lunch. And 
Yeah. A little propane, stove boiling up some water, and then we got our salad and everything else ready to go. All right, well, I'm gonna start going because I'm absolutely starving. That 2.3 kilometer portage is no joke. Everyone that told us that it's flat the whole way, they're liars. Um, it actually goes up and down quite a bit. So if you're doing this portage, be prepared. It took us probably a good an hour and a half to two hours to just do that portage. Um, and we're pretty fast, so yeah, that's it. Good morning. We are now day three. Dawn's still sleeping in the tent back there. I'm gonna get the fire going, get some breakfast started. Just wanted to show you guys. I don't know if this camera is gonna see it or not. I hope so. Cause look at, can you guys see the nice fog over the lake? It's so beautiful. Not like, can I zoom? I don't think so. I'm going to take another video and zoom. Hold on. Packing up sleeping bag, jamming to some tunes, and uh, today's the day I get in the lake and I uh, shower, because look at me. Well, first portage of day three. We stayed right over there last night. This is our portage here. Very convenient. We already walked once and brought our packs. So this one's relatively flat. Actually, it's pretty much flat the whole way except for one little hill. Whew, it is Macintosh to Macintosh Creek. 510. All right. Well, our first dam. We're gonna try to just glide over it. Holy shit. Here we go. Oh, we didn't make it. <laughs> oh well, okay, I gotta get out. 
shit, sorry, babe. Well, we have reached our second portage of the day, McIntosh Creek to the grassy bog where we came from. Beautiful creek. And so far, this portage doesn't look like it's going to be very good. It's starting uphill, but whatever. Another sign. McIntosh Creek to McIntosh Creek. Wait, trout. All right. Well, we made it 750 meters. I didn't record because I my pack is just too heavy. I'm going to record pretty much the backwards route because while I'm walking back for the other pack, I'm going to record then because it's got some beautiful views in this portage. Highly recommended for this one. So it's relatively flat. It's got some ups and downs and everything, but oh, it's beautiful. So if you have a chance to come back here, take this one. Oh, chipmunk. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Oh, what a baby. Anyways, I'm just seeing every kind of animal and creature out here, and I am just loving it. Here's our, the up coming, or the down, I guess, coming to the exit. I had to stop the video because uh, there was a person walking by. And I'm like a lot of vloggers. Well, I wouldn't call myself a vlogger because I mean, I'm just making YouTube videos for the hell of it. For basically memories, whenever I'm older, I can always look back. But I am trying to become a vlogger though. So yeah, I guess this is good. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I don't like invading people's privacy. I don't like having people's faces on camera without their permission. So that's why you'll see in my videos my camera goes down to the ground sometimes and yeah because I just do my best to keep people out of my videos. But you know sometimes it can't be helped but yeah anyways. <sighs> multiple bridges like this in this portage beautiful portage and yeah and that's a section there and then I'll video more later I'm coming up on the next bridge my foot I hurt my foot somehow yesterday I have no idea how but I did, and it's killing me today, so it's making these portages like 10 times harder. But I'm powering through, getting it done. Our next campsite, we're staying there for two days, so, or two nights, I mean. So, yeah, here's the bridge. This board here is a little tilted, but it's solid, so, yeah. Don took off way ahead of me. He should be coming back with the canoe at any time. I'm going to be like way behind. But I want a video and I also kind of want to take a break and my foot is slowing me down a lot. But yeah, this is just my place to be. See you later. Big old bumblebee coming around you. There's a bullfrog right there. Oh, oh, oh. the frogs! There's so many frogs in here. It's a freaking kids' paradise. Oh, another dam ahead. Oh, another dam. Well, that's not too bad. We should be able to ride right over that. Oh, there's a. Oh. I picked up a frog earlier, but I didn't get to take a picture. There we go. Can we make it? And... No. Alright. Alright, Don's gonna... Whoop! <laughs> Don's gonna push us out. So pretty. 
pretty. Look at how clear this water is. See all the little fish down there. Schools of fish. Look at the beautiful water. See the minnows? I don't know if you can catch the minnows on this thing. Should be able to. Stick it underwater. Oh yeah, I forgot we could do that. Oh look, and the beaver is totally inhabiting too, because... You want to go in there? No, no, I'm just... Beaver dam! many frogs I haven't I'm surprised I haven't heard any burp, burp. <laughs> And we're beached. Okay. You alright? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Entering the grassy bog. No, it's called the grassy bog. Beautiful. We made it to our campsite. That long bog grass place was freaking absolutely gorgeous, but way longer than I thought it would ever be. This is Little Trout Lake. Absolutely beautiful. We found such an amazing campsite for our two night stay. See, this is the fire pit. Their nice view little walkway to go down for a swim but yep nice flat land we're not setting up anything right now we're gonna go for a swim first because our bodies are aching so yeah that's it shitters up there so yeah so this is what happens when you forget to pack a brush. So, ladies and men with long hair, make sure you bring a brush. 
this is what I'm currently using right now to brush my hair. The fork to my <laughs> set. So yeah, bring your brush. Let's go on an adventure. Campsite. We're gonna go on an adventure to find the shit of Shouldn't be too far back here. Pretty sure this has to be the trail. Yep, there it is. Oh, and it's a new one. We lucked out. We really did. Look at that. Beauty shitter, boys and girls. I'm not gonna videotape that though, so bye bye. Just a word of advice to anybody that's actually gonna come out here and use any of these shitters. Um, I ended the video at the shitter, but um, I just wanted to add a little tidbit that uh, before going to the bathroom on any of these, make sure you take your foot and you stomp like the seat where you're going to be sitting just stomp but a couple of times because uh may seem silly but that'll scare away any spiders or any bugs or anything that are like right at the hole where you're going to be sitting um it'll prevent spider bites it'll prevent anything from scaring the shit out of you uh, and yeah so just a little tidbit for you Good morning. Day four. We're staying at this campsite for one more night, so no getting up to pack and everything, which is nice. But yeah, it's about 7 a.m. Last night's sleep was a little bit more rough, but <coughs> oh well. Dawn putting the canoe in over there. We're going to take an early morning um, fishing trip, so yeah. See you later. There's a ranger station here, just across the lake from our, uh, we're like way over there somewhere. But uh, yeah, check this place out. Apparently there's a fire tower up there, so uh, we're going to go check it out. Well, we bushwhacked for a bit, but this is very overgrown trail and we don't know enough to keep going and... We just keep getting the dead ends where it's just not, doesn't seem like it's the way. So we're just going to turn around and head back to camp or go fish or do something. Maybe because this didn't work out, you never know. Maybe we'll go, probably not, but maybe we'll go fish the grassy bog. But that's too far away, so I don't think we'll be doing that. But you never know. Oh, this friggin' stuff. 
literally in the middle of the woods. <laughs> Always on an adventure. Well, holy shit, we got lost in the woods for like 10 minutes. But you can see, you can kind of see the trail going up. You cannot see anything going down. We got turned around. Well, not turned around, but we ended up going too far to the left and then too far to... I don't know. But anyways, we made it out alive, so... And just know that if you guys are on little um, little white trout lake and you guys want to see the fire tower, you're going to need a guide or something. Unless you just want to possibly get lost for days. But yeah, that's not our cup of tea. So we're just going to head back to camp now. All right. <laughs> The bug that I am absolutely fucking terrified of. Like I've been freaking out for the past five minutes trying to get Dawn to kill this thing. But before it moves, hopefully it doesn't fucking move. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> this is a plant bug. Ah, it's looking at you. Yep, that thing will take chunks. And I mean chunks. Okay, kill it. You're not going to get it like that. Ugh. Look at the size of that freaking thing. Well, you're not going to kill it? Swimming. <clears throat> Got my floaty on. <laughs> yeah, this is nice, babe. I think I'm starting to get used to it. <laughs> Slowly drifting, drifting away, wave after wave, wave after wave. Slowly drifting, drifting away. <laughs> Little white trunk lake. We're a long ways from home now. 
Still drifting away. <laughs> this has to be the best thing I have ever discovered. Just gonna float along, see what I can find, and uh, just enjoy the afternoon. Probably gonna be in the water for like the rest of the day. But yeah, look at this. Look at my view. I'm a little bit chilly for some reason. Probably just because I've been in the water so long. But, yep. <sighs> Women in the lily pad. onions and eggs.
Well, I used my shower last night. It was nice and warm. You don't realize how much you miss warm water until you go days without it. Um, we're pretty much all packed up as you can see. There's nothing here. We got uh, just our bags left up there. We're just going to put the canoe in the water. And then we're going to pack the canoe and then we're going to be on our way. We're leaving nice and early this morning because this is, we're going onto a big lake, which is going to, we don't want to hit the waves. And I think we also have like four or five portages ahead of us today. So yeah, we're going to get on our way now. Bye campsite. You were absolutely amazing. Day five. And here we come. <laughs> the adventure this is the end of big trout that's the hell hole we came from i don't know if you guys can see that shit there was white caps there's everything we were battling against the odds you know fun stuff but yeah we're gonna make it to otter slide creek in a moment we're gonna take a rest at a camp stop stretch and then we'll continue on our way Big trout. Low Otter Slide Creek. We're not quite in there yet, but that's cool. Pepto-Bismol for you. <laughs> Fix your stomach. You just spread your fingers on it? No, no, it has a bar. Sounds like rapids though. We gotta go to the right. Oh, no. little bird. Oop, sorry. Look at the waterfall. Okay. 
No. Well, come on. Hello. Maybe. And we made it! She's trying to go see quickly. I hear a waterfall over here. This is where we have the portage. First hundred down. It's 105 technically according to the sign I guess. But yeah, this is a nice pull-up area or a launch point I guess for us. And the water's kind of low but yeah, beautiful waterfall. Waterfall's over there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. So yeah. Well we had to walk up the creek a bit because it was too shallow but it was actually quite fun. Nice pebbles and stuff. All right, we're just gonna unpack our canoe. See the tag over there? This one's 750. You get the drift. All right, here we go.
sweater probably helped quite a bit. Yeah. Whew. This mesh, I have to figure out a better way with these paddles. I mean, I think I should tie the paddles to the sack. Whew. All right. Beautiful. As always. All right. To, like pick up our canoe and uh, get it through this junk because th this creek is not deep enough so it's all part of the adventure right gotta let Dawn get ahead we got beaver dams galore we've already done like I don't know at least five or six and now we have another one. Are you sure you don't want your shoes? Okay. Yeah. So I just thought I'd show you what we're doing and we're almost at the portage, so there's that. All right, better help them. We made it to the end of the creek. A lot of bullfrogs, a lot of frogs, beautiful place. Yep. Oh, we're just grabbing our stuff and routine. This is really muddy, as you can see. Hopping rock. Yeah. Two sixty five. And over here. Don't kill herself now. Just have a nice little stream, and this is why we're portaging. Obviously, I think Dawn's gonna try a couple casts in here, and then we'll be on our way.
Watch this path here. Almost there. Lumpy one. Entrance and exit. Alright, we're back in another section of Otterslide. Otter Slide Creek. We're going to be heading into Otter Slide Lake. And yeah, as you can see, our packs are already here. It's coming with the canoe. Whew! Excellent. Alrighty, our last portage. Well, no, because we're going to skip the next campsite and we're going to go to Burnt Island instead. A little water flood. So I guess this is the second last one. 390. Yep. I got too much heavy stuff though, so I'm not going to record this one. Well, maybe up till around this corner because it's pretty, but. This one's relatively flat. It goes by quicker than you think. Doesn't feel like a 390, that's for sure. I took these logs and made stairs out of them. Anyways, yeah, I gotta use both my hands. So. Alright, so I forgot to mention that earlier we forgot our sweaters at the previous portage so we had to turn around and spend an extra 20 minutes paddling to go and get them. So now we got them, we're back on course. We're at the end of the 390 meter portage now, Otter Slide Creek to Otter Slide Lake. We're going to make it to Little Otter Slide, go to a campsite, eat and then do the 780 portage. Little Otter Slide is where we're supposed to be staying but hopefully there's a campsite for us at burnt island because we're going to push forward if there's no campsite at burnt island well then we're severely screwed and we have to turn around do the 780 portage all over again and go to our actual campsite so wish us luck there hi sweetheart i don't know if you guys can see this but there's a big blue herring over there Hi, sweetheart. Oh, he's probably camouflaged as hell. Well, we made it. We had to walk a little bit here. But as you can see, the water is so clean. And absolutely beautiful as always. So I messed up. We still have another 190 meter portage to go. Uh, 250. What? 250. 250. What the hell? It says only 190 on the map. Oh well, anyways, that's not important. What's important is I messed up. We got one more to go and then we're gonna go to Little Otter Slide and then we're gonna eat and then we're gonna do the 780. Oh my God, what time is it? Who cares? Let's just get going. Getting all set up. We don't have a canoe pad for the wooden thing and it's hard on our neck, so he's found a way to make it the most comfortable that we possibly can. Yeah. And we're off.
not so bad. Not so bad at all. Ah. Well, this is nice. Water side lake, water slide, that side. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beautiful lake. Otter slide. It's just beautiful. And this is otter slide, well, little otter slide, sorry. Looks roughly the same, just smaller. We're making our way to a campsite so we can cook. And then continue on to Burnt Island because that's where the bass are. We don't want to fish for trout, we want to fish for bass. So that's where we're going. Well, if we were going to stay here, this campsite wouldn't be too bad. It's got a nice view. We've got a sexy dude sitting at the campfire. Making us some lunch slash supper. This is our first dehydrated meal for a mountain house or mountain house. Yeah, mountain house. So spaghetti with meat sauce so hopefully it's good it's got a brand new shitter back there oh it's nice yep but we're not staying here so whatever Whew. the last 750 790 actually correction Half the trail is like this, so if you're taking the portage between Little Otter Slide and Burnt Island, just know that this trail is relatively flat, but half the trail does have these massive rock mines. I'll show you guys the trail once it flats out and becomes more beautiful, because there's a section over here that is just stunning. Show you guys in a minute. All right, the uh, camera might be a little shaky, but we're still all right. We are coming up to the end of the trail. It's excellent. We're home. Now I'm starting a fire. And from over here. Let's show you guys. view from on top of the rock. 
pretty pretty, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Good morning. We are day six of seven. We are here at so other site at our perfect campfire place. Yeah, Dawn's um, loading the canoe because we're going to be going early morning fishing. I look like shit right now. Looks like I got punched in the eye. But that's just because, hey, this is what we look like in the morning. And yeah, so the plan is today not to really have any plans. We're just going to fish, maybe swim if it gets warmer because it's chilly now. And hang out at the campfire, uh, campsite, campfire, I don't know, I can't talk this morning. <clears throat> and <coughs> listen to music and just do whatever the hell we feel like doing. Because tomorrow's the last day, we're going to be heading back. I'm really sad already, but oh well, got to get back to work at some point, right? <sighs> is in that cove over there. We're just looking for places to fish some bass. It's a little bit wavy, but whatever. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna go check out those little islands over there. I don't know if you can see it. place just awesome we have our rock there I showed you the view earlier um, tents over there everything else packs over there just thought I'd uh, show you guys this uh, peak coming out over here quickly because it is pretty so it's in our walkway So a lot of these campsites, especially the ones on the peaks, they have trails going around everywhere. Like Don walked over to the other fishing hole. Like, look at this. It's windy today, no swimming for me. But that's okay because I've been laying in the hammock doing lots of stuff and just enjoying the day. Tomorrow we have to head home. But oh well. It is what it is. Algonquin Park takes really good care of their campsites, really good care of their trails, really good care of everything really. They always make sure there's at least a little bit of wood at every campsite. They replace the toilets and yeah absolutely love this place highly 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 recommended especially this loop like this loop is absolutely amazing anyways just thought i'd add to the day we haven't done much so there's that i got my hammock now laying over there i've been laying in that and beautiful views <laughs> It's 
it's all the same But some things never change I couldn't stop and say you no know. It's all the same But you won't take blame Even when you are blowing up Oh my, oh my, oh my broken heart Nobody's gonna save her now Oh my, oh my, oh my broken heart So come on, let me show you so many reasons to bring a hammock. Reason number two, it's also a swing. Well, we just got back from our nighttime fishing trip. And what a sunset we got to fish to. Check this out. I don't know if you can see that with all the colors, but wow. Absolutely amazing. Now we're just going to have a fire and go to sleep. Morning. This is our view from our tent. Beautiful campsite that I showed you guys already. This is something I just noticed. Look at that. I love nature. Nature loves me. He's a heart in the log. So cute. Just makes this campsite even better. Take a picture of that. All right. You have the other compressed sack in there? Yeah. We're going to pack up. This is the last day. We're on our way home. And then, yeah. I'm in the tent. Just rolling up my foam. Rolling up everything. Getting ready to go. And, yep. Conklin Park's been good to us. But now we must leave and go back to work. All right. Later. trying to figure out if these birds are seagulls or if there's something else. I say some of them are seagulls, some of them are something else. I don't know, but other than that, look at the scenery around here. Got a nice island over there. These are what we're looking at. I don't think they could see in this video though. It's all the same, but some things never change. I couldn't stop and say no. 4.30 or something. Well, we're coming up on our first portage of the day. These ones are really small compared to anything that we've ever done. So today should be a very easy day for portaging. Um, it's already noon. We're basically just slacking, fishing. Um, well, I took a picture of the big bass Don caught. Um, yeah, this one has a really, really nice entrance up to it. As you can see, <laughs> and pull them up. Uh, can you? Uh, you have to walk forward a bit. All right. Again, I'll show you the sign. Two hundred meters, actually. And little doe is eleven forty. But we're not doing that one. We're gonna go the other way. All right. Let's 
let's do this. Even when you are growing up. Oh my, oh my, oh my, broken heart. Nobody's gonna oh. save me now. Oh my, oh my, oh my, broken heart. So come on, let me show you. This is a very nice, short, beautiful, beautifully kept vertage. Oh. kilometer portage but why do that when we can just come in here We tried to get around this portage by uh, going down like these little bit of a stream. Turns out there's a little bit too much of a current, a little bit too shallow. We scraped the bottom a couple times, so we just turned around. Now we're doing the portage. Look at this. Four, four thirty, I think. This one is. Look at this beautiful. It's so beautiful in here. <laughs> There's a little spot here. If you want to go fishing, goes to Lost Joe. There's many different inlets. That's always good. Twist your ankle. <sighs> I'm just gonna rest here for a moment. Rest my ankle and then continue. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <sighs> okay, it's all right. Actually, it doesn't hurt. I'm lucky. <sighs> There's Lost Joe, Little Joe, and Baby Joe. I think this is Lost Joe to Baby Joe.
like an outhouse or something. that we were at when we, I walked across to where we fished, there was a beer can sitting there. Oh my god. People are so bad. Birds Island and Lost Joes, all the Joes, I guess. There's Lost Joe, Little Joe, Baby Joe, all the Joes. Hello, East End. And then we're going to um, go back to, I can't even remember the names of the first lakes. But yeah, we're going to end up back in Canoe Lake anyways. We're going to go see some sawmill thing. And uh, what else was there, babe? A bridge and a sawmill. A bridge and a sawmill? Yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to go for a swim, eat lunch. We're not in a rush to get out of here. So, yeah. All right, correction, the resort's there. But um, this is Little Joe Lake, not uh, East End. It flows into East End, so who cares? I just thought I'd correct myself because, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, resort's over there. Yeah. Where's my oh 
Oh, that one. Wow. Check out this dark spider. Back under here we go. Almost back to the first 260 dam portage. And then we'll be on Canoe Lake. Can you guys see that fireplace? There's kayaks in there. Wonder where that goes. Oh, they're just chilling. Just hanging out. Yep. Back on the canoe lake. Almost home. This is a long lake to paddle up. Super beautiful though. There's our home on the shore up ahead. Not there, but the long one. We're getting there. Oh, where'd they go? Just wait, they might resurface. There was otters here. We saw them. I couldn't get the camera out in time. That is so sad. Ah well. Oh look, there they are! You can't see them on here though. There it is! Oh, you still can't see anything. All right, we're coming up. You okay? All right. We made it. Baby. Still alive. Yeah.